Hello everyone, this is Scott from the DailyExposition.com, and today I want to be talking about advertisements, the type of advertisements I'm going to try and implement, and I'm going to start explaining them. Okay, info links. This is going to be a big one that I'm going to use. Uh, info links is in-text advertising. They're a little like dots on the bottom, then they show an advertisement like that. Fairly simple. They don't add to the sidebars or get in the way. Uh, I'm going to try and limit how many, and I'm going to try and control where they're shown. Uh, info links has become a pain of where they show, but I have use I'm using five right now, and they only show up on the post page for here. That's what I'm looking to do. That and on the blogger sites, I use three AdSense advertisements, and I could include links and a uh, search engine a uh, search, but I'm not going to do that as of yet. I may put a search box up here to add more functionality and which would of course generate more revenue and then the rest is just going to be producing post and then I'm going to change our navigation bar the navigation bar is going to be more organized with the tags because there's a lot of tags now because of something stupid by the way if you ever use a plugin a uh, extension called Zamanta don't Zamanta is crap I'm sorry but it does things incorrectly Having external links is wonderful. AdSense, uh, not AdSense, Google does seeing external links, but um, it does it incorrectly. It shows too many and it uses too many tags. The amount of tags that Zamanta puts on each post is ridiculous. It adds strings, streams, and streams of tags, and it just looks hideous. You shouldn't be using any more than three, and it can put ten. That's why so many of them are created. Don't do that. Or at least control it more. Um, Infolinks advertisements are used. The main website can will be integrated with Infolinks, uh, Media.net, and AdSense advertisements. They're going to be switched around as I'm starting to... Uh, I'm starting to look at the space that I have and trying to figure out how to use it properly. And I may just have to redesign it at this point because I look at it and I'm just like... The, the middle bar, the middle bar is about 180 pixels on a desktop, and I'm just thinking, it's three column, but what what can I use that space for? I can't think of anything to use the space for. It doesn't, it just, I, I don't see any, it, it doesn't work to me. I, I'm looking at it, and I just can't figure out how to use it. The, it it's, you can't just put posts there, because then what's going to be on the other side? And this I need to start putting more items but the problem is then it's going to look bad on smaller pages it's it's a giant design mess newsletters are also going to be a way for us to generate revenue you sign up to the newsletter I'm gonna put a one small little advertisement in it and it's going to be very small it's going to be probably towards the top the header and depending on the length of it, it may go in there. Uh, they come out different frequencies, but I don't have enough subscribers to actually make it worth my time. In fact, I don't have any subscribers. I have a bunch of pending ones. I have like 20 pending ones. And some of them are actually legitimate. Some of them are clearly bots that are just filling out forms. So I, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to deal with that. Um, info links. AdSense and Media.net seem to be the three that we're choosing. I have not done mobile advertisements, little banner mobile advertisements. I haven't done that. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how to do it without, it may, without it looking stupid. And I kind of like the uh, the follow and share buttons from uh, Add This. They look very nice. They can increase sharing. They increase the engagement, that's what I'm looking for. But Infolinks is going to be controlled. You will not see flying advertisement, flying advertisement, flying advertisement. These are stupid. That's not what Infolinks was about. Infolinks, and then you won't have those stupid, I'm going to have two rows of links, but they're all going to be out of space. Okay, I'm sorry, but that bugs me. You get those links, right? And it, and it shows them, but they don't they don't line up and it just bothers me. It, it doesn't look good. And content recommendation services. Oh, this one I have questioned every day. 
do I want to use Enrelate tabula or anything like that. I honestly don't see the point because they don't fit the design of the page. They just don't look good to me. I mean, they in theory, yes, it would generate more revenue, but they look stupid. They just look hideous to me. So, I'm not quite sure what all I would actually I, I don't see me using one of those but I am thinking of ways to generate revenue that isn't going to get in your way and at the same time adding more content fixing designs I'm trying to put proper advertisements in proper locations to generate me the most revenue and to distract and not to that I avoid distracting you and I have to improve the content, so it's not it's not easy by any means. But it is all coming together quite well. So put in the comments below if you can think of any ways for me to improve the site. You can give me any sort of advertising networks that I could be using. Keep in mind, I don't need more banner ads. I will hit you if you give me another banner ad. Don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, but honestly, I can't think of any other ways. I thought about doing Vigilink with Infolinks. That would be an affiliate program. That'd be affiliate links, advertisement links, advertising banners, and then that would be done. And then just different services that throughout the page, throughout, throughout the website, that would have different services that would generate revenue. So just put in the comments below what you think I should be doing. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. Hope to see you next time. Ciao.